Hello. Happy Mindset Monday. How are you? Say hello. No, 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 no. Don't. I mean, yes, you can say hello, but also let's drop what kind of um what kind of emoji do we want? We want a a unicorn. We always want a unicorn, right? Drop a unicorn in the chat. And <laughs> just making sure we're on. Are we on the YouTubes? Good Lord. Streaming is so easy. It works every single time without a hitch. I love it. It's so simple. Okay, we got a unicorn on the YouTube. We're officially there. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's easy to stream. Everything always goes my way. It's so, all of the systems are set up perfect. Yes, there it is. There's my chat. Okay, we're here. The unicorns are in the chat. Drop a unicorn if you're here live. That is our, I feel like that is our community, uh, our community um, emoji. We're, Cause we're the unicorn fam. So hello everybody. Oh my gosh. Happy Mindset Monday. Thank you for being here with me. Yay. Leanne says we are here. Yes. Hello everybody. Who do we have? We have Anonymous. We have Leanne. We got the official tabby cat, the, the tabby <laughs> of all cats. We got Sarah Bell. We have D. We have Carly. Hi, Carly. We have Sarah. We've got two Sarahs in the house. Anna, Chelsea, <clears throat> Leanne, Mimi. We've got C. We have Dina. Hi, Dina. We have Swang. <laughs> I hate Bloob. <laughs> Smash plays harder. Angie and the Bean. Mariah. Hello, everybody. Casey. Hi, doll. Erase, 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 Casey. Um, oh, I decided that I had so many specific person questions last week and it was such a spicy and fiery episode. I, I didn't even think about it. I could put the little QR code up in the corner here. This is my manifest a specific person workshop. It is hands down the best manifesting a specific person thing that I have. It has all my knowledge in it, exactly how to rewrite any situation, heal your wounds from your past, all the stuff that you're dealing with, bring your specific person in. Um, there's even, uh, there's a module on removing a third party. So if you're interested in like just like getting to the heart of it and and just scoop it up and like <laughs> dealing with this, you can tap this QR code in the corner there and that's gonna that'll be there. I might switch it out throughout the the live stream. But last last week I was like, I should just put that freaking QR code up there so they can pop right over. So that's there for you. Hi, Shante. Kayla Pop Tart, hello, welcome. Yesenia, hello. Belief, oh hello, welcome. <clears throat> Is it the belief? <laughs> <laughs> of all belief nutrition. Is that you? Kristen, hello. I love it. it. says, where's my BBD members? Yeah. So drop a BBD if you're a BBD member. Drop 360 if you're a 360 fam. Let me know if you're in the house, if you're live, if you've been in the programs, if you're part of the communities so we can um, connect. Guitar Bird, hello. You got your real name on there. It's not as exciting as Guitar Bird, I have to be honest. <laughs> not as fun to say. <laughs> Ruby, hello. Um, woo, Sarah Reed says BBD 360 and multiple unicorns. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love, um, hi, David. I love when we have the people from our community on Mindset Monday, just kind of shows that we're all here staying in the energy and being really on top of choosing who we're being, choosing how we're interacting with life, choosing what kind of mindset we're going to throughout the day with, right? Because this is what is going to separate you from who you are now and who you're going to become. The you that you're manifesting, the lifestyle that you're desiring, what it takes is you doing different things, having different standards for yourself, holding yourself to a higher standard. Or, or it doesn't even have to be higher like and in, in put an unnecessary pressure on you. It's a different standard, right? Like <clears throat> I have a friend that I used to work with. He used to always say, everybody has a bottom rung. And he meant it, <laughs> he meant it as in like who you're attracted to. But I think about it a lot in my work as in like, we all have as low as we allow ourselves to go. 
It's like your base level bottom of your standards for yourself. And then if you just start like one by one, revising, up leveling, fine tuning those, just even orienting them toward who you are today and who you want to be today, you're eventually going to be making so many changes in your life that you will become that version. Um, and actually, I, I remember last week I told you to make sure you listen to my podcast that came out last Wednesday. I hope you did. And if you haven't, put that on your list. The podcast episode that dropped last Wednesday is really, really good. I had a really amazing conversation with a multi multimillionaire um, who's just out here doing her own stuff. And um, the standards that she holds herself to mentally, energetically, even obviously in her in her um, real life are very amazing, powerful, and obviously they're working. So that, um, Carly, you listened. Did you like the episode? Let me know what you think. Um, that episode is really powerful and I just suggest go listening to it because it's, it, you know, it was really good. And, you know, taking your cues from people who have what you want versus taking your cues from who you've always been or the people around you who don't have what you want, but think that they have the authority to tell you what to do <laughs> or what you should do. Carly, you loved it. Yay. I'm so glad you loved it. You got to take some screenshots. Um, D says joining BBD next week. Yay, D. Well, we can't wait to have you. Um, you'll be in time for our next Q and A, which will be happening at the end of the month. Um, so every month inside of the Big Beautiful Dreams Club, I'm just gonna pop up the QR code while I'm talking about it. Every month inside of the Big Beautiful Dreams Club, there is a Q&A that happens with me. So you'll be able to um, ask me your questions. And we, I mean, we have a really great time on our Q&As. We talk about all kinds of stuff. And um, I usually get to answer multiple questions for for everybody that, that are there. Um, and we just have a good time together. We talk about whatever is coming up for you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a creative, as um, an influencer, whatever it is that you're doing that's kind of in the online space and you're making money and you're going after your dream. Some of my people are authors and actors and musicians, um, a lot of coaches, obviously, entrepreneurs, photographers. We have all kinds of people in there and everybody's basically just building out their, their um, uh what's the word? Mono, uh, what, what's the word I want to use? Revenue streams. Yeah. Revenue streams for the passion and the dream and just actually getting paid for what you love to do. And then we have amazing community. Obviously a bunch of people who are here on Mindset Monday are part of BBD club. And, um, and then we drop a, a new training all the, um, every month. So there's a new training that just dropped as well. Um, Tam says, I was thinking today about how grateful I am that I had synergy last year. Yay, Tam. My mindset is a complete 180 for last, from last year. I feel so unstoppable. So many great lasting effects from all those programs. Thank you so much, Tam. I so appreciate you. And obviously you are just, just a delight and a treat to have in my world. Um, such a inspiring and just positive presence to be around. So I really, really obviously very much enjoyed having you in all those spaces and even still having you here. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> so today, okay, this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to ask a few questions. I'm going to ask you some, we always do this, right? I ask you some questions. You give me some answers. You ask me some questions. I give you some answers, but I'm going to be flat out. Frankie Cat, hello. Welcome to your first Mindset Monday. I love your name. It's super cute. I love cats, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I'm a kitty girl. Um, so I am going to ask you a few questions, and I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. I'm doing some market research, okay? So if you are, um, if you are an entrepreneur and you want to know how to find out what your audience is looking for, what they need, what they're struggling with, you can just straight up ask them. <laughs> So that's what I want to do today. So I'm just going to ask you some pointed questions that might like, you're like, what kind of, what is this kind of question? But it's really just going to help me uh, figure out how to help you more, right? So I am in the process of really refining my business right now. I'm in a new era for myself where I am creating things that are more passive, more evergreen so that I can spend more time in creativity and less time like running my business, which is not really the fun part. Um, to be real frank, I really like missing, uh, or excuse me, I really like experiencing and doing, um, the fun stuff and not always the, the, um, the not so fun stuff or the boring stuff. Chelsea says your audio keeps changing. Is anyone else having audio issues? Question. Just curious. Or if it, is it, is it Chelsea or is it me? Um, 
if it's me, I'm just going to go ahead and touch these little thingies and try to push them in more. Other than that, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. I pushed my cables in. No one else is having audio issues. Okay. It might just be your, your, um, Wi-Fi, Chelsea. Okay. So I want to ask you some questions about what you're going through so that I can make sure that I'm providing you exactly what you need. That's always been very important to me. Um, because I want to work on my own, um, you know, lifestyle. I'm up, up, I don't want to say up leveling my, my lifestyle, but in a way, cause it's more of a, like, um, I don't want to say a, a spiritual up level, a level, but it's more of like a soul up level where I really just want to do the things that make me feel good and not put myself into a frenzy or like lock myself in a box of having to do things a certain way in my business because that's the way I've like set myself up and that's where my mindset is at. So I'm just working on freeing myself in my schedule so that I can, you know, like the album I've been working on for years, like the reason that it's like still hasn't come out yet is because there's always something that I have to do in my business that like takes precedence. And so I'm really working to shift that dynamic within myself, within my, my physical life, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to be refining my products and, um, my business and my courses and things like that. And just kind of making sure that I'm giving you what you need and what you're searching for. So I'm going to be asking questions that are, you know, just, just really straight up like marketing questions, but also like, let's just play. I'll ask you questions. I'll give some advice and it'll be kind of like a Q and a, but it'll be kind of opposite. I'm going to be asking you questions and then, um, I will be taking screenshots and then I, you know, again, I just kind of like use that to get a, a handle on where you are and what you need and what kind of things are going to help you. And what I'm also going to do just to let you know, if I have something currently, a product, a course, a workshop, a training, a, a meditation, whatever it is that I think will help with your issue, I'll just let you know and, and um, throw it out there. And you can find it on my website, roxytalks.com. Or um, if you have any questions, if you're like, what was that thing? Or I suggest a couple things or something, whatever. Um, you can always email us hello at roxytalks.com with any questions, or you can DM me on Instagram as well. Kristen says, I want to own more of my time. I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot that right away because that, <laughs> because, and actually, hi, Taylor. Actually, another thing, and I'll, um, for those of you that are entrepreneurs, I'll just shout out some things too in ways that you can kind of look at what I'm screenshotting and why and how it can help you because Kristen obviously is talking about time freedom and um, financial freedom and not just having a business that you have to work in but having a lifestyle that pays you to be you and allows you to be creative and free and fluid and also exist as the person you want to, not being like bogged down with, I have to do this or do I have to do this and I have to perform this way or this person made their money this way and I have to do it like this. So you want to own more of your time. And I love that because the, this is like a real sentence that she's saying, right? So I can use that in my marketing for like, you want to own more of your, this is for you. If you want to own more of your time, somebody like Kristen's going to be like, Oh my God, that's exactly what I want. How did she know? And I'm like, cause you said it on a mindset Monday and I screenshotted it and then I use it in my marketing. So for those of you, uh, sometimes I like to have these conversations. They're a little bit meta for the ones that are building businesses or you are an entrepreneur. I do kind of just like to go through like what I'm doing and, and some of the behind the, the scenes stuff, just so you can, um, just a little more insight if it helps. But, um, Oh man. Okay. So Okay. <laughs> Tabby Kess says, I want my base rung to be my highest rung and then go up an octave. I love that. So so okay, 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 okay. Let's let's go into this question right now. What is your bottom rung? And what is this? If you're just now joining us, what's happening is I'm an, I'm doing a Q and A for you, vice versa this time. This time I'm asking the questions. I want to get some answers from you. I'm asking my questions and getting some answers like Ariel. And I'm going to be um, using the information to just refine what I'm bringing. Like I'm just being just completely transparent of what's going on right now. I'm like I want to just ask these questions, and then that's where it's going. It's going to go into my marketing. It's going to go to my products to make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need. So, and if you are an entrepreneur. I'm letting you know what I'm doing in the meantime so that you can also use this if it helps you, if it gives you an insight, if it doesn't, like I can go fuck myself. It doesn't matter. Okay. So <laughs> the question right now is what is your bottom rung? Okay. And what this means is like, what is like the bare, the, 
let's be really, really, really frank. What is your bare minimum? And you know what your bare minimum is? Because it's like the default of what you manifest. It's like, well, things work out like this. I, it really only was like, I can only bring in this much money. I only have this many clients. I want to do this, but I'm really, I'm really not like, let's be a little bit transparent and frank with like, what, what are you, what's your bottom rung? What is like the, like, you're like, this is like as low as I'm going to go. But like, sometimes we kind of like chill there. Right. So I want to know where is like this, if I'm being real, this is like where my life is at. A lot of times, a lot of times there's like lower we can go, but I want to like kind of, I want to, I want to set a new base. Okay. So we're going to kind of like look at what is like the bare min that you're kind of letting, letting in. And usually if you're not like on top of your shit, if you're not on top of your mindset, then you're going to kind of settle at this place because this place is what feels like normal. It's not, you're not super excited. It's kind of like, mm. <laughs> here's where I'm really at. Here's what my real truth is. This is where my, my real is. <clears throat> we have <laughs> works our ass off and things either happen fast and stall or I go or I have to grind 24 seven for a long time till something finally unfolds. We've got working at Bath and Body Works when I have huge dreams. We have being financially stable enough just to keep my bills paid. We've got making money where you're self-employed but not making enough to sustain yourself and move forward and push forward. So you block yourself and limit yourself from moving forward. Um, we have living comfortably debt-free with at least – oh, wait, this is a, this is a goal. Oh, that's your, that's your new bottom run. Got it, got it, got it. I love it, I love it, I love it. We'll get there. We'll get there for everybody. Sur surviving. Mm, mm. That's very real, right? Like, I've, I've been there. I really have. So I, I completely resonate and understand. If you're just now joining us, we're talking about, like, real, real, real reality right now. We're talking about, like, what's the, like, mm, I don't really want to bring light to my actual truth. Like I have these goals, I have these dreams, but actually it's this. We're kind of talking about, we're shining light on the not so favorable truth of where we're at right now, because then we're going to obviously work on getting it out. But um, right now I'm kind of like cycling through. I want to hear what everybody, where are you at? What's kind of not good? What's the truth of, where's the truth at? Because sometimes you don't want to affirm it. And I hear that people say that all the time, this, I don't want to say what it is, and the truth is, the longer you hold back from, from really revealing this truth and allowing it to transmute into something else, the longer it's going to last. We have, I only get nine to five jobs. My SP never shows me love because he's stubborn and fame is far from me. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm just for full transparency, I'm taking these answers. I'm screen capping them because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the courses, the products, the trainings, the meditations, the workshops, whatever that will help you. So that's where I'm at. We're doing a reverse mindset Monday. If you're just joining us, that's what's going on. And we're asking like, what's the real like kind of bottom base that you're accepting? And you're kind of just like, this is like my, mm. I'd like it to be here, but it's actually kind of like this. We have painting for money, not for a source. Mm, I love that. I love that. I love that. And it's in, in like, that's not where the magic of you lies, right? That's not where the magic of you as a painter lies. It definitely doesn't lie in you accepting that money um, for stuff that you don't want to do, right? Trading your passion for money, which I completely understand. Um, and that's why, you know, in Big Beautiful Dreams Club, oh, I said I was going to put this on. Oh, I did. Um, in Big Beautiful Dreams Club, I really make sure that I'm putting in mindset stuff as well because we don't want to just do um, the stuff that we think we have to. You want to be able to tap into the magic, into that dreaming and that like passion, that person that you are and have always been and want to be so that you can continue creating and continue pushing forward and not get stuck and not get stagnant. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We have, a, we have a lot. And thank you so much for sharing, everybody. Um, I appreciate your your honesty and your willingness to be open and vulnerable with us. And the more we share this stuff, number one, we see that we're not alone. You're you're definitely not the only person that's dealing with stuff and and you know trying but not quite hitting the mark. That's that you're not alone at all. And so we're here. And also, it's okay to be where you're at. 
when we shed light on it, like when you turn the light on, the monster turns into the, ho- the coat rack, right? Like it's it's less scary and it's, de- it's deal with the bull when we figure out what it is, when we really pinpoint it and allow it to just, mm, this is what it is. Okay, fine, cool, awesome, yas. <clears throat> we have working at a gas station, would like to make more money in my business. Um, we have making more money than I ever have, but still terrified of moving out of my parents and affording rent. Um, if you're just now joining us, we're getting a little bit honest about like, what's, what's the kind of like want, want truth about where we are. What is like this kind of like murky bottom area where your truth is existing, that you're kind of allowing yourself to settle. You're allowing not the best of your reality, not what you would actually want it to be. What is that, that you're not really giving, um, how do I sell back up? What, what is it that you're accepting or allowing in your life that is like, mm, not so good. Let's be honest and, and bring it forth. And you don't actually have to share in the chat. You could write these things down. I am taking screenshots of it. I'm not going to uh, put your name out there, but I am, um, getting it for purposes of like helping to create the kind of courses and workshops and experiences that will help you and allowing you to What do I want to say? And I'm also going to be sharing any, if I have something that will help currently. Having a hard time at work and sometimes it's getting in the way when manifesting. That's exactly how I built my entire business. Check out my 30 days of alignment. Um, If you go to my website and there's a free, free, do I have it on here? Do I have a link for it? No, I don't. Um, There's a free one. And then there's an upgraded bootcamp one where I give you, there's like 30 days worth of videos that you can do with it. Um, but that's how I changed my life while I was in that same exact position of like being, being in my job and like wanting to start my business and hating what I was doing. We have finding ways to love myself and stop the do more, be more by mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we, we have receiving but questioning if it will stay, self-trust. You know, that's interesting because earlier... You just said, working my ass off and things either happen fast and stall or grinding 24-7 for a long time till something finally unfolds. And then we have, I'm just going to go back to the other thing you said because I'm, I'm, there was a parallel I wanted to draw. Receiving but questioning and if it will stay and the self-trust. So your the self-trust is causing you to overwork. It's causing you to either push away when things, like you said, push away when you get it because we have the story of it takes a long time or when I get it, it goes away, right? So those things are like feeding off of each other. Uh, We have feeling vulnerable online when posting and being authentic. I feel silly sometimes. I can really understand. Um, We have my bottom rung is my old story that I, that circumstances keep me from working constantly enough to pay off debt and accumulate access or is that success? Um, settling for a job that res- doesn't resonate with your soul, not letting my heart guide me and trusting my head over my heart, working my butt off and still not being enough. Mm-hmm. Seeing that one happen again. Um, we have actually my lowest rung is thriving where I am knowing I can do big things. Yes. I love it. I love it. Obviously we'll, we'll rewrite in a second. Um, we have my bottom rung is working in a corporate nine to five, making enough to take little vacations here and there and pretend that's enough to feel like I'm really living. And, and also like, is that not just like the, the, the dreamy were sold can, you know, to just like take some of the pressure off of you for creating that in your reality? Like, oh, it's three, three, three. Um, is that not exactly what you were modeled and told throughout your whole life? It's okay if you've believed that up until now. And now you c- we can break through this and and really start to dismantle this. Credit card and debt, entering grad school. Mm, mm-hmm. Have you my best financial level up ever then immediately having it swallowed up by new debts and emergencies? Yes. Um, have you read Rich as Fuck? You might want to read Rich as Fuck if you haven't because that's in there. When my SP acts like the version I want, I find myself looking for reasons to go back to default. Because it's safer there, right? Because it's safer in the space where you know what it's like. It's safer to know, oh, he's just going to do this. Oh, he's just going to, it's going to blow. It's safer to pre-disappoint yourself so that when the inevitable disappointment comes through, you're not as disappointed. 
But all that thinking about like pre-disappointing yourself, putting yourself at a lower energy, a lower rung than you want to be actually at is only going to manifest more of that. It's only going to manifest in you having more disappointment because you are bracing yourself for it, which is like expecting the impact of it and what you expect manifests. So this is a really amazing realization to have. And I want you to, I call it putting a bell on it. I want you to put a bell on that. When, when the person starts to act the way you want, that is when you have the opportunity to continue the back and forth treatment, the hot and cold, or you change and divert the path. Okay. You change the dynamic by saying they're here and they're staying here. Whenever they show up, they stay. They change for good. They or it gets better and better. You're not low key expecting them to go back to the old ways or sabotaging it. You're looking for reasons. You're going to find them. You're a very good detective, right? Like the the universe is going to give you what you expect to get. So you have to do the job of unexpecting that and now expecting something different. We have that I'm wasting my time manifesting my SP heat breadcrumbs. There you go. You said it. And and for those of you that are dealing with SP stuff, I just put my manifest a specific person workshop in the corner. This is my all of my specific person work. Everything. I mean, it's it's the hands down like best, most comprehensive thing that I have to manifest your your person. Um and like break through the stuff that's going on within you that's causing them to act this way. Because obviously, not that we want to like absolve them from everything that they've done. It's not about that. Um, but it's about you understanding that you are creating them to be the way that they are. And the same goes with your money story, your job story, whatever it is that you're experiencing. It's, it is that way because you're so convinced it is right. Like it happens, you experience it. Oh God, it's like this. You affirm it. That's what's going on in that moment. And then it happens again because your current moment is always creating your future. And that will never stop. You can't turn that off. You can't pause that. The only thing you can do is start talking like you're like talking from the future of your choice, not the future that you don't want to keep experiences experiencing, which is what probably 98% of the population of people are doing. So right now, if you're just now joining, we're sharing the kind of negative truth of where you're actually, mm, what's the real, <laughs> the real truth of like the, the, like you want to be here. We know that. And that's the truth you're kind of trying to sell yourself. But what's the real truth? Like what's the bottom and a the actual reality of where you are and what's not working? Because in order for us to move forward, in order for you to create something new, we're going to have to shine light on it and be able to accept it and love it and, and transmute it into the next thing. But you are an alchemist. So that's easy. That's what you do. Um, we have stable and that's all afraid to step out and take real meaningful action toward monetizing my passions. Um, I, yeah. And I've been there too. And I can tell you that you really do have to step forward and do it in order for it to work. But when you do, it does work, but it's you that makes it work. Um, and are you in BBD club? You said you're in BBD. Yeah. You're in BBD, right? I know you're in 360. Um, hi, Em. So making sure that like when we are on our BBD call, we can bring this forward and we can talk about this even more. Um, if you're just now joining, we're talking about, I'm, I'm get, having you get real. What's the bottom, bottom base bullshit that you're ac accepting. Let's be real so that we can kind of get the shit out of here. Uh, we have making money, not making a difference in people's lives is the bare minimum. Mm. Right. And it's like how empty is making a lot of money when like you don't have it going toward anything good. It doesn't like feel good. Hi, Mohammed. Um, right now, I'm asking the questions is how it's going. So this is kind of a reverse mindset Monday. I'm asking questions. And, <laughs> and if you want to share an answer, then thank you. And I'm going to use your answers to help me make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need in uh, with my courses, my workshops, and things like that. Um, we said, I also work on my income streams, but they're slow going, meaning that I'm not skilled and haven't built up excite, ex excellent, valuable content yet. We have SP not as affectionate slash emotional as I like and sometimes blame his culture slash horoscope and personality and accept it. Yeah, totally. You do not have to um, take – now, this is this may be controversial, and I'm just going to say this, though, but a person's religion, their tradition, their culture, 
their personality does not mean that you don't get what you want out of them and that that is the reason why you can manifest anybody to feel whatever way with the right story, okay, and with the right self-concept. So don't allow yourself to just, well, they're this way or they're, they're like this or they've always been this way so they'll always be like that. Yeah, they will because you say that kind of shit. <laughs> Um, Chelsea, I love that you're loving this. Okay, good. Um, afraid to start again after a breakdown. Mm. Not being able to keep up with everything and being overwhelmed, which leads to defeat. A life, um, got you, Tiffany. Tiffany's going forward. Yeah, I don't want to read the good stuff just yet. <laughs> Um, we're just checking if anybody wants to share where they're at, what is the kind of negative bottom that you're actually creating and manifesting for yourself so that we can shine light on it and change it. Um, we have resistance, doubt, and feeling caught in the traps of the past. Um, settling for non-priority treatment from SP and feeling stuck in doubt and believing the past. Similar. See, we're not alone. We are not alone. Oh, we have another Roxy on the chat. I love it. I love when there's Roxy's in the house. Hello. Um, sabotaging after mindset leap or an unfolding. Feel safer to pre. Oh, that was me. Okay, that was a quote for me. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Hi, Froggy. Froggy says, can the workshop also help with maintaining and making our relationships even better? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. The specific person workshop is like, I make my friends take it. <laughs> I make my friends take it instead of listening to their relationship shit. I'm like, you need to take my class and then we'll have this conversation. Cause I like, I can't even like, I need you to go through all of this stuff and then we'll talk. So like 100%, it is like hands down. Like I said, it's the best thing that I have for relationships because it's the deepest dive. It's basically like 360 for your relationships or for your love. I'm going to switch the, oh, it's already up there. Um, it's 360 for your love life, um, for your relationship. So if, it's basically the same format of 360, um, but it's for your love. So d should you go in there? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think everybody should fucking take it. Even if you have a relationship, it's going to elevate your relationship a hundred times, a billion, I don't know, billion percent. But, um, the scanny QR thingy, you can grab it there. D says, um, making a course too, but I'm scared of being seen. So I hold back and sharing my truth. Yep. And we have more past stuff coming up. I'm glad. Thank you for, um, everybody that's sharing. I'm going to use this to make sure that I have the, the, um, like exactly what's going to help you. So that's why I'm asking these questions today is because I really want to know what you're like, exactly what you're dealing with so that I can make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need. Pretty bird. I love it. It says, um, rewriting, rewriting the story feels unnatural slash silly because it feels like I'm kidding myself. Just finished your SP workshop. It was super helpful trying to stay in that mindset. Yes. Okay. So I love that you just finished it. I want you to I want you to redo module 2. I want you to redo module 2 from where you are today, not from where you were when you just did it because you still have some like you have like a different level of limiting beliefs now than you did when you started. Does that make sense? So I want you to go back to module 2 and I want you to redo the limiting beliefs from that one because now you have a like an L, they're an elevated. Like it's better than it was before, I'm sure, but now it's a different set of like quote unquote disbelief that you're dealing with. <laughs> even having moments of worrying about worrying. Listen, worrying is manifesting. Worrying is extremely powerful manifesting. You're going over and over and over and over and over and over in your head like a sh like a sh steam engine, like a fucking train, repeating, repeating, repeating the same scenario. It's it's such an incredible manifester. So can you worry in your favor?
going back to the things that we're dealing with. Um, putting myself before others. Seeing that a couple times. Oh, good. You're working through the scripting bundle too. So you know how to rewrite the story. Um, my re well, I have an actual specific program called the Rewrite Your Specific Person. It's 111. Do I have a link on this thing? I don't have one on here. Um, but Rewrite Your Specific Person where it's just a straight up lesson about that specific thing. You might really like that one um, as well. And that's on my... It's If it's not on my website, it's definitely on my Instagram um, story highlight thingies. <laughs> Be like that. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to answer this question because I, this is a nice segue to where we're going because we're going to move into the positive stuff now. Happy Thoughts says, and it's interesting because this is the, your name. I always comment on your, your YouTube name. Says, it's, is it really true that the more we work on ourselves, the more everything works out for us? This seems so opposite from what I have been taught. I've always paid more attention to others than me. And it, you know what? So many people just right around the same area of you, there's like all these comments of people saying, putting others before me, putting others before myself. So again, you're not alone. People were raised this way. A lot of people were. And like, so like, okay, so I'm going to get real. I'm going to get a little bit sassy. I'm going to get a little bit sassy and I know you can handle it, <laughs> but like you're asking, like, I was always raised to think that things are hard and bad. Is it, should I unthink that? Is it possible for me to think something else? Like, okay, I'm going to be real frank of what's coming up right now. You know, when, and then no shade to anybody of how old you are or anybody's family members or nobody's family members, but I'm just going to use, you know, like a, a, like a grandma that like doesn't understand how times have progressed and they say things that they shouldn't say. It's kind of like that. And it's like, um, you can change your thoughts from what they think. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe they didn't have all the information, right? If they're, you get my point? Um, like being able to, to, to just step away from an, an old timey, um, a limiting belief thought that doesn't fucking resonate anymore. And if it doesn't work for your life, you don't have to listen to it anymore. You don't have to believe it anymore. Like, I, I feel like we've learned enough, it seems, maybe from my perspective, that we're truly at the point now where the more majority of humanity is starting to understand that everybody has a different perspective Every single person experiences things differently. Every single person has their own specific truth. Every single person's specific issue is valid. Every single person should be allowed to be who they are. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And like, we need to understand that like changing your beliefs about something is, is totally fine. Being al al allowing yourself to not think so rigidly just because you always have. Like, maybe I can think something different. Maybe I don't have to believe that anymore. Yeah, but is that really true? Is that the, the world I want to live in? You can question these things. So there's that part of it. The other part of it, is it true that when you work on yourself, the more everything works out for you? Yes. The reason why? Because the world is a mirror. So think about it in the most plain way. If you, let's say you're overweight and you're have a poor self-concept or whatever, and you every time you look in the mirror, you see an overweight person. Well, I'm just going to be as black and white as possible. And then you start, I don't know, dieting or something, and you start working out and lifting weights. And then you look in the mirror and you see a person who's fit. That's it. That's literally it. It's literally that. Why would my reality get better if I start working on myself? Because you're looking in a mirror. And that's how mirrors work to be plain, you know what I mean? To be just as frank about it so that you're not putting so much, like there's so much power and mysticism behind it. No, there's not. I have a mirror right there. And a lot of times when I'm doing these conversations and I talk about this mirror, my closet that I'm looking at is like one, like the whole wall is basically a mirror. So it's very easy to, for me to be like, that's what's in the mirror right there. <laughs> what I'm looking at is what I'm manifesting. It does not have to be any harder than that. 
Why do I have this experience? Well, because that's exactly what you're holding in front of the fucking mirror. If you want something different, you must change first. Your reflection will never change before you. If you want your reflection to be wearing a hat, you have to put a fucking hat on. If your reflection put the hat on first, it would be fucking terrifying, okay? I'm thinking about, you know, like in the craft, in the original craft, uh, the real one, the good one, <laughs> no shade. In the craft, um, when, um, uh, what's her name? When uh, Rachel True starts feeling the witchy vibes and she turns in the mirror and like her reflection takes a second to turn and it's like ugh, unnerving. That's the thing, okay? You're, you, you want your reflection to be aligned with you. And if it were not, it would be fucking scary and awkward and uncomfortable and weird, okay? So change yourself to change the reflection. For those of you that are asking about what's going on with your SP, what they're doing in the 3D reality, like literally... I'm going to be, I'm going to get a little, here we're going to get a little bit sassy again because I don't like to, I really don't like to go down these roads of these minute little, like no offense, but they're, they feel very minute in the grand scheme of the manifestation power you have. Stop giving so much power to shit you don't like. Stop, like you're liking, you're looking at their, uh, someone that like, I have two people asking the, the chat questions about like an SP liking other people's pictures or some stupid shit. Why are you fucking looking? You need to be doing something that is more important. You need to be paying attention to your own goddamn self. You know that meme, worry about yourself? Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself, okay? Work on yourself. They are a reflection. If you want to rewrite the story of your specific person, check out my Rewrite Your Specific Person Masterclass. <laughs> or scan the QR code up in the corner for my um, Manifest Specific Person Workshop. I put it all into that because... Because I've answered these questions so many times that I get I get sassy very fast. And I recognize that sometimes people are in a very like you're in a hurting place when you're like trying to get this this SP stuff. And like you don't want to hear me tell you what I really want to say. And so go take my specific person workshop um, because that's going to help you change the situation. And like my real truth is going to be probably sassier than you want to hear right now. <laughs> Because fuck them. Just kidding. Okay. Anyways. So now. Oh, hold on. There's a couple more bottom rungs coming in that I wanted to. Um, screen cap. Screen cap. My bottom rung being in the hamster wheel of instability. I know it comes from childhood, but I had a real awakening last week after the eclipse that put it in my face. It's familiar, but it's got to go, right? And it's familiar, but it's not necessarily comfortable, right? It doesn't feel good to be on the hamster wheel. It doesn't feel good to be in back and forth energy. It feels comfortable. It's known. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel safe. It feels known, okay? Quantum dynamic. Um, check out my Big Beautiful Dreams Club membership. It's $59 a month. I'm going to put the little thingy up here. Um, you're asking about what kind of business um, that you should morph, move into. Um, we are, this is my my club for entrepreneurs, $59 a month. You can join uh, join anytime, cancel at any time. I have a ton of content in there that is mindset work and then strategy work for building your business, growing your business, working on your niche, like um, even the my um, monetize your dreams masterclass, which you can also purchase on your, on its own on my website, roxytalks.com will help you kind of like recycle, reshift through like the business that you're, that you want to be building. And then, um, for the big, beautiful dreams club and the membership, we're doing a Q and a not next week, but the week after, and, um, you'll be able to ask me questions and, and do a Q and a about that stuff. And I can actually help like deep dive with you and like figure out like what the perfect thing is for you to go toward. Um, but for right now, what we're doing is I'm asking questions about kind of like where you're at and, and where everybody mindset is. Um, the link by the way is up in the corner so that if you can see that QR code, you can scan it. If you can take a screenshot, I think that works. Um, I actually don't know how people scan it. I'm like, how are they going to scan it if they're looking at it on their device? I wonder that sometimes, but, um, up there in the, in the thing, and actually I can put the link, but it's a QR code. So that wouldn't help. Oh, Leanne, drop the link in the chat. Thanks, Leanne. I'll pin this to the chat. 
And um, yeah, so uh, Quantum Dynamic, if you join Big Beautiful Dreams Club, I would suggest go right into the Monetize Your Dreams Masterclass because um, it, the first lesson is about niching. And that's where I would start with you anyways, is like go into like like helping you figure out the niche that you want to actually be in and then kind of like building your business out from there. And then I have like the 20K months masterclass, sweet offer suite. We have um, audio trainings for launching, for selling, for selling on social media and all kinds of stuff to help you again, like launch your business, put it out there, actually make sales. And then there's stuff about the energetics, the mindset, there's meditations, how to build your audience, how to connect with people, how to find them, how to figure out what they need, things like that. And actually this conversation, it's a meta conversation again, because that's what I'm doing right now is I'm taking essentially, um, market research right now. And this is why I'm asking questions about like where you're at, what you're going through so that I know exactly what to bring you, um, and help you with. So, so Oh my gosh. Um, Andrean, is that how I say your name? It's very pretty. My SP just told me that he discovered manifestation. That is interesting. I love it. I love it. I love it. So he is on the vibe. Like, let's make this an amazing thing. Congratulations. It's working. You're doing it. Okay. 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 I'm just taking a few more screenshots and then we're going to move into um, the good stuff. Okay. So now, Oh, you're doing it. I'm so excited, Quantum Dynamics, to have you. And I don't know who you, I can't tell who you are. So when I meet you, I'm very excited. Um, all right, all right, all right. So hold on, hold on. There's another, I'm getting overwhelmed with the screenshots and the the social the testimonials. I appreciate. Tiffany says, I highly recommend Roxy's SP workshop, whether it's for an SP or for personal development, like I use it for. It's such a great program, and I'll always recommend it for deep diving into yourself. Thank you, Tiffany. That'll be going up on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, quantum dynamics. I'm going to take a screenshot of yours too. Thank you for sharing where you're at. I'm in a phase where I've outgrown SP, X back manifestation, and focusing on living my soul purpose. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Um, so now I want to ask you, what is, what is it that you actually want? And I would love you for you to be super specific here. And also like, let's talk about the, the 3d stuff and let's talk about how you want to feel. Let's talk about the energetic stuff. Let's talk about, um, the big dream and the short dream. If that makes sense. Like what's the long-term dream? What's the now dream? What's the tangible dream? I want these things. What is the energetic inside dream? I want to feel this way. Kind of give me the, the perspective of where do you want to be? What is it that you want to create or experience or manifest and be as specific as you feel? Um, the more specific you are, the more it helps, obviously, to make sure that I've got, you know, what you want or I'm pointing you in the right direction of it. Life with cat. What is my thoughts on having an application process for people to work with you? Um, does it create more of a barrier? Of course it is a barrier, but also, um, it's standards. So we were talking earlier about, um, like your bottom rung. And so your standards of who you allow in, in your coaching spaces or in your business, that is what you're going to experience, right? So if you, let's say, for example, you, you, you are, you're, you're taking anybody that comes through, um, and that kind of, energy comes from a place of like, well, it's money. So I'm just going to take it. You're going to kind of manifest someone else that has lax boundaries, right? There's a lot of ways that that can, can like, sh like shake itself out. Cause I don't really know you. So I can't, um, I can't give like specific, like what you might be manifesting from people, but like, let's just put it this way. If, if you know, you don't want to work with like, let's say needy people, for example, but you're taking any money that you can get, you're going to get needy people because it's a match, right? So having um, an application process, it is a barrier, but it is also like a standard that says like, I will only allow in these, you know, this type of people or deal with this kind of conversation. When I decided to kind of end the the one-on-one -on -one coaching for a specific person, because it does get me like way too fired up to really talk about sometimes. Um, I just, I basically was like, if somebody came through and wanted that kind of coaching, I just pointed them to the specific person workshop. Cause I'm like, you're going to, like you need to take that class anyways. You're going to get what you need out of it. And please go, <laughs> please go take it. So I don't have to have a conversation about why they're not texting you or why they have a third party. Sometimes I just can't have those conversations anymore. Most of the time, <laughs> all the time. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so your the question is, what is the thing that you actually want? And I want to know about like in demand man. Hi, good to see you. It's been a while. Um, I want to know about like, again, I want to know the physical stuff you're manifesting. What do you want? Want? What do you want in the 3d? What is the big far off dream? What is the short term dream? And what is the feeling? Like, what do you want to feel inside? What is the internal thing that you're looking for? The internal shift. So yeah, maybe we'll ask it that way. What are the, what are the physical shifts you're looking to make? What are the long term shifts you're looking to make? Short term shifts and then internal shifts. So that's the question. If you're here, you're helping me. If you're answering, you're helping, and I appreciate. Um, if you're just now joining, what's happening is like I'm doing a reverse Q and A today, so I'm asking questions from you so that I can find out exactly what you're looking for, what you need, so I can make sure that that's what I'm um, offering. So, um, if you're asking about your specific person. Let me pop that thing up back on the thingy. <laughs> you're just now joining, and you're like, "What is she talking about?" Manifest your specific person, the um, little QR code in the corner. That is my hands down absolute best specific person training ever. It's amazing. Whatever question you have, you're, you're dealing with your specific person, go take that class because it's really important and uh, will help you manifest whatever situation. Um, it'll help you improve your current relationships, deepen your relationships, manifest a new person, manifest a different version of your current person, switch up the, the um, circumstances in your relationship. It does all of the above. Leanne. Can you please time – that was at 51 seconds and minutes. 51 minutes. We'll just say 51 minutes. Can you grab me that sound bite about, uh, the, the, about the specific – the way I said that was really simple and to the point. I want to take that out and put it on the sales page. <laughs> Again, if, you're an, if you are a, um, an entrepreneur, this is, this is what I do a lot of the time. Like I'll say things or I'll hear somebody say things. And I'm like, that's how we should say, or that, that makes a lot of sense. And I'll test things out. I'll put it on the sales page. I'll, I'll, you know, share it that way. Or maybe we make a piece of content or whatever that's around that because I know what people are looking for. And I want to be able to put it in the plainest language that lets them know I have the solution that's going to help them. <clears throat> okay. So pretty bird, which masterclass you took? You took the rewrite? He said, in a committed relationship, manifesting him being more motivated with life and us having a better communication and more romance. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start reading the dreams. All right. So again, the question is, the questions are, what are the shifts you're looking to make in your physical reality? What are the physical reality shifts you're looking to make or the physical manifestations you're looking to bring in? What is the long-term stuff you're looking to bring in? Manifest, shift, whatever. What is the short-term manifestations? And some of these might, you know, cross over. I'm just kind of helping you, helping us categorize them. And then what are the internal shifts you're looking to make? What are the internal shifts? How do you want to feel? We talked earlier, if you're just now joining, feel free to share the kind of like the dark, dull meh, reality of where you actually are or the, the stuff that you don't want to have that kind of pops up in your life. The real truth about like what is actually not working. We're going to, we're pinpointing that stuff. That was what we did earlier. So feel free to drop that in the chat if you want to check, catch up. Where we're at now is what is the dream? What are the things you actually want? What are the, the shifts that you want to make in your 3D reality? What are the things that you want to see happen? What are the things you want to manifest? What are the changes you want to feel internally? What are the things that you're looking at long-term, short-term, external, internal? So I'm going to read some of these from the chat. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. I was sick last week, so we're still getting we're still getting the voice back. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Um, find and health, find and healthy and body goals. Build up your financial wealth. Advice on. Um, okay, we have. I don't want to. Okay, manifest a specific wor person workshop if you're dealing with um, heartbreak. QR code is up in the in the uh, corner. We have, um, I want to be free from my parents and views on people with ADHD and how they're supposed to live. A successful writer and confident woman in a healthy, loving relationship with a true love. Best-selling author and Disney script writer. Ooh, I love it. Traveling the world and collaborating with creatives. I love it. You're in the right place. <laughs> um, you said, I want to feel powerful like manifesting is easy. Manifesting is easy. Manifesting is so easy. You're doing it right now. 
Manifesting is so easy that you've created the reality you're in right now and you don't even realize you've done it. That's how easy it is. It's easier than breathing. Manifesting is easier than breathing. It's easier than blinking. It's easier than your heart beating. It's, it's easier than those things. Cause like I can feel my heart. If I like pay attention to my heart, I can tune in on it, right? I may not really be able to control it. I could do some jumping jacks and some exercises. I could do some breathing rituals to change the rate of my heart. I could obviously choose how I breathe and how much air I take in, but I can't just stop manifesting. I can't just like, I mean, maybe I could, maybe I could, there's a limiting belief right there, but it is that easy, right? It's so easy that I don't even realize I'm doing it. It's so easy that this chair is solid to me. Manifesting is so easy that I think this chair is real. That's how easy it is. You said you can manifest, but not always. That's not true. You're manifesting right now. But saying I can manifest, but not always, I'm gonna um I'm gonna take that as a screenshot to help with what we're to help you um get where you need to go with the concept of it. When you say I can manifest, but not always, what you're doing is creating a really powerful affirmation, or or should I say saying, repeating, you are affirming a reality where you only get some of the stuff you want. And that is its own perfect manifestation. So you're actually really, really good at only manifesting in a way that appears like you get half the stuff and half you don't. That's how good you are. But that in itself is its own manifestation that you're excellent at creating. You said you want to learn how to be better at it. So that's 360 method. I'm going to pop the little thingy up here, the QR code in the corner, 360method.co. This is my signature method. This is how I manifest. This is what I do. This is what changed my life. This is what I had to do to step out of the, I can't do it. It's hard sometimes. I hate my life. This thing sucks. All of that shit I realized was creating a life that kind of fucking sucked. My life sucked. There were good times. There were good moments. And that's exactly what my thought process was like. There were good thoughts in there sometimes. Sometimes I was intentional. And sometimes I was like, yeah, 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 me. But for the most time, most of the time, I was unchecked. I was undisciplined. I was thinking about how shitty my life was. And that's exactly what I was experiencing. And so one day I realized literally every thought I think is making my life, period, end of sentence. Not good or bad, just period, end of sentence. It's making my life. Every sentence is a footstep to a reality. So I started controlling every thought one at a time, one thought after the other, after the other, after the other. And I would do it for eight hours straight because I was at my job. We talked earlier about um, wanting to change your life when you're at a job you hate. That was my story. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly where I was. I hated my job so much. And I realized that I was spending eight hours a day manifesting hate, like hatred for my life. So what I did was I, I was at a sales job at the time. So if I was on a sales call, I was completely checked in. I was doing my job, whatever. When I was off that call, when I had to do like the paperwork part, blah, 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 full disclosure, I was completely checked out. I was gone. Roxy was not in the building. It was affirmation after affirmation after affirmation after aff And I only knew four affirmations at the time because this was in the very beginning of my journey. I didn't understand what affirmations were. I didn't realize that every thought I thought, every thought I think, every sentence I say is an affirmation. I didn't get that part yet, but I knew that affirmations were like positive statements. So I picked four and I repeated those one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, those four affirmations over and over for eight hours a day. And that's, <laughs> that's where I developed 360 method, which sounds kind of crazy now. Um, but like, that's what turned into 360 method. It started as the 30 days of alignment. Then I kept going way beyond 30 days. Then it changed my life and became its own thing. 360 method. It was like everything, right? That's what 360 stands for. It's every direction, everywhere, all the way, all encompassing. So, so really mastering the idea of like every single thing, <laughs> every single thought I think is an affirmation and it is taking me to the reality that is an exact match for it. Just like we talked about last week with the match game, apple, apple, orange, orange. You cannot say I can only manifest sometimes and get all of your manifestation because manifest sometimes and manifest always are not matchy, matchy. Manifest sometimes, manifest sometimes, matchy, you're good. Orange, orange, apple, apple. You have to match the sentences up with the reality you want to be in or you're not getting there. 
I think that's the plainest I've ever been able to say it. It does not matter what is happening in your 3D reality. Let me say it again. It doesn't matter what's happening in your 3D reality. It doesn't matter what your specific person said. It doesn't matter what the actual income is. It matters what you what your sentences are about it. That's the only thing that matters. So your sentences must matchy matchy. Apple apple orange, orange, or else you're not going to get what you want. You can't have apple orange and and expect a match. It just doesn't work like that. But it's so fucking mind-blowingly simple that you should be able to get it. Leanne, another, another, mm -mm, that was a good one. One minute, sound bite. Let's get it. (laughs) Let's cut it. (laughs) That one might have actually fit under the time frame. We could actually use it for social media. A lot of times I'll do like a a rant and then it's like seven and a half minutes long and I'm like, shit, I can't use that on a freaking reel. But that last one, I might be able to. <clears throat> when you're manifesting something and the opposite presents itself, is that a test, good or bad sign, et cetera? I have, okay, so I have a whole, do I have pass the test up here? Because that would be really awesome. Pass the test. No, I don't. Sorry. Maybe I should put all the, t- mm. maybe I should take one day and put all the, the links up here. That would be a smart idea. I might do that. Um, I do have a whole class called pass the test where I, dive into this exact same thing. I think that one's 111. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I get, if you want it, just DM me and I'll send it to you. But, um, I go through a whole class masterclass about passing the test. And in my opinion, um, like, is it a test kind of? Yes. Like in this, in a sense of like, this is your opportunity to either go in the direction of the reality you said you wanted or continue on the path you're already on. It's like that it's a fork in the road is what it is. And if you take, if you take the fork that is like the unworn path, the, Oh, actually it is working. Yay. It's working. Whatever. Versus the, ugh, see, it's not working path. That path is very worn and it's going to take you exactly where you already know. It's going to lead you right back in the loop to where you are. This other path of Oh, great. Since that thing happened, I know everything's working out for me, right? Which I know is a lie, but who fucking cares? Because the other thing's a lie too that you've already convinced yourself of. You're going to move down the unworn path that's going to lead you to a new reality. So um, when the opposite happens, when you're manifesting something and the opposite happens, number one, that's a good sign because it means you're doing it. It means you're it's working. Like the fact that something different happened, the fact that there was a shakeup, proves that your thoughts are a little bit different than they were yesterday or the last time you dealt with this, right? Because it didn't come out the same usual way. Whatever. I mean, it's just different ways of looking at it. At the end of the day, you can always choose what your reality you're going to. So no, nothing ever matters. This, this moment doesn't even really, like it exists, but it doesn't. Like it does, you're, it's just so irrelevant. Um, irrelevant. But when you say, okay, this is working out for me, then that's the path you take versus the, oh, it's not working. See, it didn't work again. Then you go down that same fucking path. Again, matchy, matchy, same, same. Okay, we have, we're going back to, if you're just now joining us, um, we're going into like, what is your dream? What is the stuff you really want? What is the stuff you want to manifest in your physical reality? What is the stuff you want to manifest emotional in your internal reality within yourself? What is your long-term stuff? Short-term, again, physical out, outward manifestation, and then the inward shift, what's going on inside of you that you want to um, change. And we're sharing that in the chat if you feel comfortable. And I'm using that information to make sure that I'm bringing you the best courses and opportunities to help you. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We have family, life, partner, and kids successful physical therapist. And I want to be a professional bodybuilder, model, and actor. Awesome. Um, we have long-term master's degree and author being an author is a forever thing. Yes. We have so many authors in our community. Um, so if you are an author, you are in the right place for sure. BBD club, bigbeautifuldreams.com. Join our membership, uh, for lots more authors. (laughs) What I want right now is to be sort of a socialite and do it and be it and a race car driver and be it, be a socialite race car driver. I mean, why not? Why not? Um, in the next few years, we want to be in the music industry, multiple other forms of income as well. Then do it, girl. I want freedom of time. I'm doing important events and traveling with spiritual teachers. I'm attending events that help the planet. I'm a keynote speaker in many crowds. The people I admire have become my inner circle. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have, I want to create content for my soul and for that to support me financially. 
For you, miss, are you doing the first half of it? Because <laughs> you can't have the second half without the first half. And I'm only saying that because I know you. And I'm not just, if anybody's like, why is she saying that to somebody? Because I know her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and the last time I checked, and I haven't had an update, so that's okay. So I want to know. <clears throat> we have, okay, freedom, security, more joy. <laughs> I just want to feel happy. I want the rest. I want to not care about money, food, SP. I want to be like, I don't know. It's always there and I'm actually happy within my soul. I love it. Um, M. Sekender, you want a routine to manifest your specific person as quick as possible? Manifest right here, up here. Scan the QR code up in the left-hand corner. That is my full comprehensive everything that you need to do start to finish, change your relationships, change your whole dynamic with people, um, love, otherwise, personal, all the things. Uh, scan it right there in the left, the, um, what's it called? The QR code right there. Um, I want to feel excited, lots of adrenaline at ease. I want to feel yellow. Excited and lots of adrenaline and at ease at the same time. Are those things at odds? <laughs> I found that interesting. Um, Heal a broken heart. Where did it start? The chat jumped. Financial freedom, career, travel, a guy who treats you like you deserve to be treated. Internally at peace, free, happy self, self-love. Right now, I'm just, um, if you're just now joining, we're talking about the big dreams. We're talking about what you want to manifest in the short term, in the long term, in the physical world, and in your, in your, um, within yourself as well. Luxury wedding photographer, making tons of money, traveling the world, incredible marriage and kids. Channeling the most important messages to share. Yes. Yes. Let's throw a yacht in there. Yes. Um, yes. Manifesting is as easy as gravity. Exactly. Exactly. Musician with a rock star partner, make beautiful music together and a biz mogul. Yes, yes, yes. Make enough money as an author and entrepreneur to quit my full-time job. At lateral pay, become a multimillionaire, New York Times bestselling author. Yes, yes, yes. And Rosanna's like, Roxy selling on here shamelessly is inspiring. Keep selling like hotcakes. Hey, listen, there's tons of free content on YouTube. You're already here. If you want to know what's going to help you, I'm going to give you the thing that's really going to help you. <clears throat> Like me answering like how the steps to go through to manifest a person right now is not going to get them. You need to like do the actual work of like <laughs> internal shit that's going to make you be a match to them. So that's the, the work. Do the internal work. <clears throat> I'm uh, sorry. I'm still getting over being sick, so I apologize. Um, okay. Brenda, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm I'm sorry about that. <sighs> the stuff about death is like the, it's unavoidable. Like I I I don't I it's hard for me to talk about because I I don't like to open that the chasm within myself, um, especially when I'm like trying to keep the vibes up in a higher place. But also the thing about it is like that is life and it always will be. And um, you can't like it's not about it's not about how did I manifest this into my life. It is deal with it because this is what life is. It's not your fault and you can't control it. So don't put that on yourself. Um, you said, I also want to break free uh, from the feeling of being adequate. Okay. Um, Brenda, I'm so sorry. I'm reading more of your thing. It's, and it's hard for me. I experienced not quite everything that you're going through, but... Um, Again, I, there is just, um, there's just dealing, loving and dealing with it. Like I, I can't, the only thing I can say is like, you have to, you have to go through it. Like there's no, it's unavoidable. You know what I mean? And like the thing with pets also is that's really cruel is they don't last as long as us. They don't live as long as us. And so if you choose to be somebody that has pets in your life, you're going to witness multiple deaths of them and it sucks. And like, 
You know what I mean? Like I was just having this conversation with my sister because we're both at a place where we're like, I don't know if I can do this again. Like we have our current pets and then we're like, I don't know if I can do this again. Like I know, I know like what I went through with Leo and I know it's going to happen with Mango. And obviously we have Bunny Cat too. So it's like, I know that's going to happen. I know she's not going to live as long as I, I will. They just don't. So it is a part of being a, a pet owner is like ushering them through those, those times and being there for them and like loving them and, and holding them and providing that amazing space for their transition because to them it's a lifetime for you. It's a, just a blink of, the, of an eye. Right. So, um, I d- like that's, it is what it is. And so you have to just let it be that and cherish the moments that you have while they're here. Um, and, and give them as much love as you can and have those moments. I did actually, now that I think about it, my therapist told me to write a letter to my dog, um, of like everything that I wanted to say or like that I couldn't, and then have him like write one back me write it back from his pers- his perspective and that did help. <sighs> okay. Um we have my life is peaceful, fulfilling. I'm in the in crowd, every concert I want to attend, travel the world, speaking engagement, luxury opulent private jet, yet life healthy, happy whole. Yes, and like Tiffany, like that's already part of your part of your life already. You know what I mean? Um Okay. And you said you gave up manifesting for four months. Listen, I get it. I really do. Like, and I, I had to actually stop meditating for a few months after Leo passed because like in meditation, I see my people that have passed away and I just was not ready. Like the first time I went in there and he was there, it was just like way too emotional. Um, so I couldn't meditate for a few weeks, honestly. And it kind of sucked. Um, but eventually I did go back. I don't actually don't remember how long it was. Eventually I went back in and then now I see him all the time. Um, and it brings me so much joy to see him. And then it, what I realized was the joy that I feel around him is my joy. It's mine. You know what I mean? So being able to see him in meditation allows me to still unlock that joy that he brought to my life because it was my joy to begin with. Um... Mallory says, literally strumming a uke right now to bring in those rock star dreams to fruition. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Because you want to get into the vibes of the reality of it, right? And Jeannie says, I manifested a change with death. I decided that death is timely, peaceful, and rare in my life, and it worked. And I, I also want to say, like, I'm not saying that you can't um, shift that energy. I, I, What I was trying to say is, like, don't take it on. Because I, like, I, the, the first question they asked was, like, I don't know how I manifested this in my life. And it's like, to me, that is just, it, it doesn't go in. It's not a fruitful endeavor other than, like, fear, worry, doubt about people that you love and the things you love going away. And, and like, I just... I don't like going down that road with people when they're grieving because I just don't think that it's I like, I'm not going to sit here and I don't want people taking blame for people passing and stuff when it's like, you can't, you can't help that. That's what happens on earth. People and things pass, you know, it's like, it's a part of the contract of being here. Um, somebody asks, about 360. Um, I am a goddess. Are you still here? You were asking about 360. If you're still here, then I'll answer um, your question. Um, Mallory says, what if death is just a construct though? Like we know it's I know it's very Delulu, but what if a reality of that death, death is actually waiting for us? Hold on. Let me read you what this just came through my meditation from today. Oh, wait. Maybe this was yesterday. Let me see. Oh, no. This is from today. Okay. Listen to this. If time isn't real and everyone is me pushed out, then they aren't real either. Then I create aging. They aren't coming along with me through time. I'm moving myself chronologically, in quotation marks, through what I think my life is and aging them and myself along the pro- with the process. I'm selecting older versions of them and myself by commenting or even noticing growth, age, et cetera. 
I see them age or get bigger, like as in kids. And that observation sets them further along the aging spectrum for the next time I see them. And we're conditioned in countless spaces that things grow and then they die. But do they though? (laughs) What even is withering? Dehydration over time? Oxidization over time? So could I go back to a younger version of myself? Um, And then the answer was, they said was, some things are hardwired into the program, like selecting older versions of ourselves and others. But just like any of the systems, there is a degree to which it can be overwritten. But part of it is automatic. So even as you select a a younger version in your mind, the system is also simultaneously selecting the older version. So much of it is an uphill uphill battle. (laughs) So that's what I just, that's what came through my meditation today. Um, And if you're like, whoa, that's how you meditate. Yes. You check out my um, Epic Meditations Master Training where I, I teach that exactly how to meditate like that and get that kind of information flowing. Um, okay. I'm a goddess. You're here. So I just want to talk about 360 method for a little bit. So 360 method is my signature manifesting method. It is how I was able to like change my whole life. How I was able to go from having like negative thoughts all the time and all day long to not (laughs) to manifesting a complete change in my reality. Ooh, Leanne, can you also mark this one down too? Thank you for the timestamp 116. Um, so when I, was in that space. I was in a job that I hated and I was just constantly consumed with how much I hated my life. I was stressed. I was angry. I felt like I didn't have any time to do what I wanted to do. I felt like, um, all these moments were like sucking my life away. I felt like my soul was being ripped out of my body. My being sucked out of my body. These are the things I was saying to myself all day long. I fucking hate this. This sucks. Oh my God. I'm never gonna be able to start my business. This is such a waste. I hate this. Oh my God. I fucking hate this. This sucks. Like that's what I was saying over and over and over all day long. And then finally one day I was like, If I keep saying that, that's what I'm going to keep getting. Like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot keep saying this over and over and expect it to change. Like, those two things can't happen. We talked earlier about matchy matchy. Like, I cannot have a reality where everything is amazing. I have my business, things are flowing, I'm doing the damn thing. And also, I'm thinking, oh, this sucks. I don't like my life, meow, 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 whatever. So, from like that realization forward, excuse me. Sorry, my throat's still a little funky from when I was sick. From that realization forward, I started just saying chosen affirmations, one after the other, after the other. And so I would say like, my, oh, what was I, there was only, I, I know there's only four of them. I can't really remember exactly right now. The work I do is in alignment with my highest calling. The work I do is in alignment with my soul's highest purpose or something. Two of them were like almost identical. And then uh, I can't remember the other two. Oh, oh, all, all of the, the 100% of the money that I make comes from my own ideas, products, and services. And then there was one other thing. I can't even remember what it was. But it was just four things that described my life as an entrepreneur and not as a sad sales girl who hated her life and hated her job. And so I just started repeating those things. Hi, Mary. Over and 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 over again and over again and over again because I realized every single thought, every single sentence was a manifestation, if you will, or an affirmation. Or as I like to say, it's like a footstep on a path. Like I'm going to get somewhere. If I keep taking footstep after footstep after footstep after footstep on this path, I will get to whatever's on the fucking path. There's no way around that. So I had to, oh, thank you, Taylor. Oh my God. There's a real OG right there. Taylor. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Much love because that is, (laughs) thank you, Taylor. (gasps) I love you. That's amazing. Taylor's like, I'm in control of my dominion. Yes. I just wanted to be completely in control of everything. And like, and and even when, as you say that I'm in control of my dominion, I, like I said, I didn't even understand, um, affirmations. Yes, it is live. Hi, Mari. Um, I didn't even understand affirmations really at the time. I was just saying things that were better and over and over and over and over and over. I didn't leave any space for the regular thought. So like I said earlier, I was working a sales job. So the only time I would be checked into my job is, um, if I was on a sales call and the second that phone hung up back into those affirmations over and over and over, just those same four over and over and over and over and over again. And then if I had to say something or if I had to like write something, I would like be fighting against my thoughts and like 
it, I just, like I said, I was not checked into my job at all unless I, um, was on the, um, the sales call. So once I, um, started doing that, it changed very rapidly. Like it didn't take long for me to realize like, oh, this is the thing. <laughs> this is okay. This is actually the thing. This makes sense because your sentences, your, your thoughts, your, your concept of reality. Let's put it that way. How about this? Some people are like, it's not the thoughts. It's the images. Blah, blah, blah. This is the thing. It is your concept, your truth of what reality is that manifests. However, human beings process information with language, right? So when you're saying things, yes, they represent physical or what do I want to say? They represent the the physical experiences or the the tangible or whatever, like the the words you say represent. But for us, that's how we process. And so like I could think of a chair, but I couldn't tell you to think of a chair unless I said chair. But if I say chair, we all know what chair is. And I can have the image, but I can also have this thing under my ass, chair. I know what chair is. Does that make sense? But I know chair because I know chair. Because language is how I relate to things. If I don't know what something is, I'm like, that thing over there, I don't know. That that thingy, it's much, it's like nebulous, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. But plant, chair, mirror, ceiling, light, computer, live stream. I know what it is. I identify, I can make the connection very fast just using the word. So when I change my words, I change my reality because my my words tell me what's going on. <laughs> my words describe what's going on and what I think is going on goes on. Oh man. All right. Tiffany, thank you so much for the super chat. I very much appreciate you. Thank you. You said showing some love, love this new season you're in. It's only getting better and better. Thank you, Tiffany. And yes, we are the best community. We have the best community online. We have the best people, the most amazing connections and kindness. Oh man. Somebody asking you about, is manifestation real? Yes, it's real. Some guy made it up to make cash. No, he didn't. What, Jesus? This shit is in the Bible, okay? This is not new news. It's old fucking news. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes this question is just like, I'm like, ugh, I've answered this so many fucking times. Like, go back and watch one of the hundreds of fucking videos I've put up. You know what I'm saying? Someone, someone told you, who cares what they fucking said? They obviously don't understand the nature of reality. Literally... <laughs> Sorry. This is with the most love in the world, but I just have like such little patience for this. And I know that's not fair, but hey, I get to be a, a, wherever I am on my journey. And in my journey, I don't like, like go read the book. Uh, do I have it near me? Oh, it's in my living room. Um, uh, Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. I'm going to be, I am writing a book that will have more. <laughs> I, <clears throat> okay. I see what you're saying. There's no manifestation. There's invocation and exvocation. Manifesting, aka the secret, is something that got made up to make cash. Um, okay, invocation, 100%. Actually, that's something that I use. I use that terminology myself. Um, but it's like it's it's it doesn't matter who called the secret the whatever. It doesn't like it's still the same information. It's still the same thing. Whether you call it ex exvocation, you're reading the vi the Bible, you're talking about Buddhist shit, you're talking about Anunnaki. Like this shit is old as fucking dirt. Okay, this is how Earth goes. However, someone describes it. Okay, if they make money off of their description of it. Okay, and people have been making money off their description of stuff there forever. The Bible costs money. Okay, so like. When people are like, oh, someone did it to make money. So what? Do you, What do you do for, do, how do you live? How do you pay your bills? Don't you do stuff for money? Don't you pay to go to college? Just modern words. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not trying to be sassy with you. It just, it's not you personally. It's just, <laughs> I, I just get annoyed when people try to question it sometimes. I'm like, come on, just fucking, oh, like, fine, fine, fine whatever. But, um, like it, it just, uh, it is real. It is what it is. It's life. It, it, um, <laughs> Rosanna says tomato, tomato. Exactly. It's just the words. It's just the words. Um, oh, man, sometimes I look at the chat and I'm just like, whoa, there's so many things that people are asking that I couldn't even possibly be able to 
like a dress. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And that's part of my exasperation. I'm just like, oh my God, the amount of questions. It's like, holy fuck. And I feel like I've made so much content. I've made so many videos. And yet there's so many things that could be said. <laughs> Mari's like, you definitely know your shit if you know what I was talking about. This, like, what, you know, it is what it is. Like, um, it, this is just how reality works, and that's fine. Like, other people have different ways of experiencing and expressing it, um, and that's fine. And it, and it gets to be fine. And I think we have so many, like, it has to be like this, or you can't do this because of this, or blah, 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 blah. Um, there's so many rigid rules. It's like, who said? Who said? Bring them over here. Because I, like, fuck them and fuck their opinions. Like, what does it matter? You know, we all are so... Um, we're all so unique and on our own journey and holding everybody to the same standards is just stupid and <laughs> a waste of time. And I think it's better to work on holding yourself to your own fucking standards and not worry about everybody else. Not that you were, Mari, um, but just sometimes I just get, I, that's why I get so sassy. I'm just like, we're asking the wrong questions. <laughs> But maybe it's not. Maybe it's the perfect question and I just have a short fuse. I appreciate you said you found me from spiritual shit. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad that um that connection is helping us make more connections. That was fun to do that podcast. Do I have any childhood memories of manifesting in your journey? Yes, I do. You guys want to hear okay, you want to hear a fucked up one? This is probably my very uh mm, not my first manifestation story, but this one stands out in my mind like very vividly. Um I manifested this kid getting his fingers like sliced in a skating rink when we were in <laughs> here. Here's how we were going ice skating for a, a field trip when I was in elementary school. And I remember them telling us when you fall on the ice, make sure you fall like this, not like this, because if someone comes over to help you, they could come over and slice your fingers off. Okay. So me, I'm just like, Oh, Oh shit. Like I'm like, <laughs> I'm locked up. Like you're not going to catch any of these fingers out. Right. So I was telling, I think I was like telling about the story about it on the bus. I was like talking like on the bus to the, the, the ice skating rink. I was talking about it and like telling it and like, you know, kind of like I was visualizing it. And then one of the kids in my class, I don't think his finger got chopped off, but it definitely like got slight. Like the teacher came over and sliced his finger and he had to like get up and go whatever to the med. I don't know. I just remember being like, I made his fucking fingers get sliced. Like I was, I felt so, I was just like, you know, I was like probably seven, maybe eight, maybe. Um, so I very vividly remember that one. And, um, there's those moments that you have that when you learn about the, the secret or manifestation, you're like, oh shit, I actually have been doing this. I do remember times when this has happened. Oh, Taylor, you remember that story? Of course you would. Of course you would. You're OG. Yeah. That was like one of my first conscious experiences of manifesting. Although I didn't know at the time what, it, I didn't know what was going on, but, um, I definitely carried the guilt of like making that kid get his finger sliced for a very long time. <laughs> I was like, I made that. I knew I made it happen. <clears throat> uh, I appreciate you, Mari. Thank you. So whew. rainbows, uh, Ree says when I predict someone's injury, I'm always like, did I predict it or did I cause it? That's it. And that's, that's another, um, manifestation story that I had when the final, like big, like reveal that like changed my whole life was one of those things where like, I, I was playing the scene. It was just me. I ran into somebody from Instagram in like another state, like somebody that I like, I followed on Instagram that I really liked. I was like, I know I'm going to see them when I go there. And so I just kept playing this image over and over and over and over and over in my head of like coming face to face with this person in a store. And, um, I, I got myself to the place where we were at the same store, but then I chicken shitted out of going in the store cause I was too nervous. Um, but, uh, that was the first, that was like the, not the first, but that was like the, the catalyst that kind of brought me to the secret and like really changed my life in that 2011 era. And, um, I was like, did I predict it? Did I make it happen? Did I predict it? Did I make it happen? And obviously the answer is both, of course. Cinnamon roll, you're so sweet. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh. Yep. Dina says, I think we create 100% of our own reality experience. 100%. Yep. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> 
Rosanna says, I mean, religion doesn't talk about lucky girl syndrome, but it talks a lot about receiving in abundance and asking from the limitless anything. It sure does, Rosanna. It sure does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So Shantae, hold on. I'm seeing a fun update from Shantae says, recently I've been happier in my original career than ever. I'm even embracing the admin parts. I used to just hate it and long to retire. I know the universe still knows and not being miserable. Um, I love it. For eight hours is working in my favor. Of course. I love that. Um, Christina, I have a really good, um, I just put together a letting go bundle where it's like, um, kind of takes you through the process of letting go and like preparing yourself for it. And then like the, the kind of bounce back thing that kind of happens, like the recoil, that's the way that it was showing me in my head. Like if you were to like fire a gun, there'd be like that recoil kind of thing. And like being able to hold yourself through all of that. Um, so I have like one small training on letting go that would be good for you. But then I also have the bigger bundle that has like a whole, like I said, it's like a spectrum of like the letting go, um, experience, I guess I would say. Leanne, do you mind dropping those links? The, um, the letting go, just the master training and then the full letting go, um, ultimate, the ultimate letting go toolkit, I think is what I called it. Cinema roll, how to manifest your roommate to treat you better. Um, I have, so checking out my man, uh, no, no, no. Rewrite your specific person workshop mm -mm, masterclass. That's what it's called. Rewrite your specific person masterclass, master training, um, where I go in depth and I talk about the whole process of creating a new version of them and kind of like with the letting go, actually, oh, that is in the letting go bundle. It's in that letting go bundle because, um, the one I was just talking about, because the, um, that class specifically talks about like how to create the change and then how to react once you've done that work, um, to make sure that you don't undo the work essentially. I don't have the link up here. Should I just grab it? I can grab the, the letting go link real fast. Okay. So we're talking the, um, we got a little sidetracked and that's totally okay because we're just here chilling and we're hanging out and we can run our live streams however the fuck we want. Just because some people are straight and super to the point with their live streams does not mean that I have to be. <laughs> I can be if I want. We can also be fluid and flow and go with the flow with it. So I'm going to drop, um, I'm going to drop the letting go the ultimate let go, this one. Ultimate let go to, to get them is what I called it. But you get to get anything really. Letting let go to get it. There we go. That's what we'll call it. And I'm going to pop it on this little thingy on the, the QR code and leave it up there for a few minutes. If anybody wants to grab it, you can scan the QR code up in the corner and um, grab it. Oh, and Leanne also dropped it in the the chat as well. So letting go replay, that's the smaller class. Let go to get them or let go to get it. What I put up here, that's the bigger one that has that um, smaller class inside of it. It has both of the smaller classes that I mentioned inside of it. And it's just a larger bundle with more. And it has a payment plan on it as well as a pay in full option. Hope Nugget says, I still watch your recreate your SP video from May 2020 regularly. It hits harder every time. Thank you. And you know what I just pers um, I scripted the other day? My work is timeless. It'll always help people no matter what. I said it's ahead of its time and it's timeless. And it'll always help people. And that's the truth. That's why, like when I said, this stuff is in the Bible. This isn't old news. And that's why it'll always be relevant no matter what you're going through because you're always going to be creating your reality. You're always going to be dealing with the uphill battle of your thoughts of what is versus what you want it to be. Human beings are, are very simple when it comes down to it. And so is reality creation. And so when you can really become a master of yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, what you think about life, become a master of your truth, you become a master of reality. It's not that hard, but it just takes dedication. M says, is letting go what is essential to dropping the pressure to apply the 360 method to every thought? Is letting go, um, is it, that's what, I don't know how many this question. Is letting go what is essential to dropping the pressure? Letting go of the need. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Letting go of the need is what brings them in. Like that, that letting go bundle that I dropped, the thing that's up here in the, in the corner at the QR code, that's basically one long ass way of saying when you let go, it'll come through. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's like what it is, basically. But come on. Ooh, it's four for four. You're a magic girl. This is Mrs. Magic right here. This is magic. I just a magic girl. Okay. Um, letting go of, of the need is exactly what brings the thing in. Because it's saying that I need it, which which communicates I don't have it. Remember when we were talking about the mirror aspect of how easy this is? Remember matchy matchy? I need this thing. I need this thing. That's what comes out in the, on the, in the match. If you need it, then you need it. If you need something, it means you don't have it. If I don't have it, I don't have it. So like thinking about like in the mirror, if you're looking in the mirror and you're like, hmm, my reflection needs a hat. God, it needs a hat. I really need a hat. This alpha just needs a hat. I really need a hat. You keep needing the hat, but you won't have a hat. You're not going to have a hat until you you let go of the I need a hat and switch it to I have a hat. Put the hat on your head and then the reflection has a hat on. Even with love, health, and safety, yes, there is nothing that goes above this. Your words create your love. Your words create your health. Your words create your safety. Nothing, nothing, nothing is more important than what you say about it. Even your children. I know you're, you've got a young baby and one on the way. What you think and say about yourself and them is more important than, than them. What you say about them is more important than them. And I hope you get what I'm saying. I'm not saying they're not important. I'm saying whatever you say about them is what they are. Whatever you say about your SP is what they are. So what you say about your life is more important than anything in it. This is why it's, this, it always comes first. I always say nothing supersedes this, this, your relationship with your language. Maybe that doesn't make any fucking sense. What you say about your kids is more important than your kids. Is that fucked up to hear? But it's like, it's the gravity of it. What you say about your specific person is more important than them. And not that it's more important, but do you get like, it's the, it's, that's where the attention needs to be. Not not saying ignore your kids, but first say the right sentences about your about them and about your life. And then and then deal, right? He said, I feel like I just love so immensely. Okay, why is that a bad thing? You're acting like it's a bad thing. Do you see what I'm saying with your sentences? Your relationship to words is creating your reality. And to be with like love, as much love because you and I have had lengthy, lengthy conversations multiple times you are still making yourself the problem. You're still looking for a thing that's a problem. You're still looking for a way out that manifesting isn't what it is and that you don't have to consider things the way you want them before you'll get them that way. But that's exactly what I'm here to tell you right now. I don't care what you want. You need to consider yourself as, of, as having it that way first before you'll ever get it. And there's no, it's never gonna be the opposite, okay? Period. There's nothing. I don't care what they said. I don't care how they treat you. I don't care who did X, Y, Z. I don't care what person's body did what. I don't care. Your sentences come first before that. Hi, what are you doing? Just a, a little lull in the conversation, but I'll probably be wrapping up soon because I'm getting hungry. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Marriage is fun. Rosé, this is making things seem so trivial is honestly how people shift watching your content. How do you get to that space when you're in the thick of it? Um, honestly, the answer is 360. The answer is 360. Like, and the question is, how do you get, how do you have the clarity to say, this is fake, this isn't real? Um, I get what I want, everything's working out in my favor, whatever, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Michelle said hi <laughs> to Mr. Talk. And um, how do you get into that that mindset of like, controlling how you you respond to your 3D and not having letting it have the power over you 
is to do it all the time. That's why I always say 360 method. Like if you don't have to get ready or how, what is it? Um, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Listen to this other analogy that I came, that I got into in meditation today. Imagine that life is, imagine that you're like on a baseball field or you're, what are those things? The pitching machine or whatever. And there's just balls being thrown at you constantly. Well, the, okay. The analogy is being a catcher. So let's say that you're a catcher and there's balls being thrown. You have your back turned toward the game. You have your back turned toward the game. And if you catch a ball, it's because you either had a quick warning or you felt the whoosh of it coming or you happen to turn around just in time. Oh, oh God, a ball's coming. And you uh, maybe catch it. You might catch it. You may drop it because you're not really paying attention. You're not seasoned and you're not really like doing much to like be in the game, right? You're not going to be playing a world-class game that way. You need to turn around. You need to face the truth of the game. You need to face the reality. Face the the batter, right? Face where the balls are coming from. Face the 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 truth and then get better at what you do. Learn how to hold the ball. Learn how to catch the ball. Be ready for the ball. Set yourself up for the reality you want to be in, not cowering away where you think you're stuck, missing every opportunity that, that keeps coming your way over and over of stepping into that next higher level of performance. So in this analogy, it's like, quit, like, like you're only facing the game when there's someone on the, when there's a batter on the mound, but like balls get thrown all the time. Like ball, maybe there's someone stealing a base or I don't fucking know. Right. I don't, I don't do sports, but the point is like, if you're not oriented toward the game you're playing, if you are trying to avoid it, if you're worried about it, if you don't want to actually be in the thick of it because it's hard, or you don't want to look at these things, or you don't want to like take the, the time to overhaul your thinking and to do the 360 method or whatever it is, you're going to be missing opportunities to, to control your reality, to control, um, what's happening, control your mindset. And then you're going to have very mediocre results. So it's like, if you were in the game, if you were paying attention, if you're watching every thought, every thought, or every ball that comes, every ball that comes, every ball that comes, you get to catch it. You get to catch it. You get to catch it. You're going to build up a stockpile of balls and then you can have your own baseball selling business or whatever the fuck, or you can throw a bunch of balls or it doesn't really matter. The point is that when you're out of the game, when you're rusty, you're not going to play good, period. So how do you stay in that mind frame and have that where the wherewithal when shit's actually happening, when it's hard, when you're triggered is to not turn your back on the game ever, you know, you need to be in the game when you're not triggered. You need to be on top of it when things are good. You need to be on top of it when things are mediocre. You need to be on top of it today and tomorrow and yesterday and the next day and the next day and the next day and forever. What I notice the most about people, I think that the biggest problem people have with their manifesting, the reason why they're not, they don't have what they want is consistency. They're not consistent from moment to moment. They're not consistent from minute to minute, from thought to thought. Or if they are, they're not consistent from day to day or week to week or month to month. You take time off. You start believing the 3D reality. You you worry about things. You stress about it. You you disbelieve in yourself. That is taking time with turning your back on the game and then being like, why am I not catching any balls? I don't know. Face the fucking game, maybe. Step one, pay the fuck attention to what you're doing. Awareness. And then practice catching. Discipline. Always, always, always that. I mean, we talked about manifesting the opposite earlier, um, but basically, the, it, if you're man, if you're manifesting something and the opposite shows up, great. It doesn't mean anything negative. It just means you're moving energy. You need to persist and you need to not give up. And I always say, um, definitely check out my master training called "Pass the Test." It's on my website, RoxyTalks.com. Um, but every like a negative, whatever, every opportunity, every, everything that happens, every moment is like a fork in the road. You can either go towards the way you've always gone and repeat your patterns, or you can go and decide that, oh, everything is working out. I'm getting exactly where I want and change the pattern. It really doesn't matter. And if things are, are, op, um, happening that are the opposite of what you, you asked for, that just shows that you're changing reality to, and stick to it, but don't make it mean anything. Happy Thoughts says, I want to start scripting. What should I write? So Happy Thoughts, um, I have my scripting bundle that is also on my website. I want to make sure I put all of these freaking links on the thing so I can just pop them over when I'm talking about it. 
Oh, you know, I'll put 360 up because actually this um, scripting bundle is a bonus on 360. You actually get the scripting bundle when you join 360. It's a part of it. Um, so basically, it's I always say it's the summer camp of your dreams. You're writing home from the summer camp of your dreams. Um, thank you, Leanne. Leanne put a uh, link to it in the chat as well. So I just felt it's been almost two hours. How does this happen? <laughs> I don't know how we make it to two hours. That's so crazy. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. But uh, if you're just now joining us, I definitely invite you to head to the, the my YouTube channel and rewatch this live stream. We're diving into the stuff that's like in the way. And I'm going to give you homework to um, rewrite because I know we talked about the stuff that's in the way. We talked about where you want to go, your actual dreams. Um, Dina, I love, I love this to see that you have, um, stuff moving in the 3d reality. Sorry, I'm just going through making sure that I got everybody's big dreams, little dreams, big goals, um, the shifts they're looking for internally and externally. Kristen said, I need daily meditation time, but I keep letting myself get so busy and letting it slip. Kristen, try doing it first thing in the morning before, before you pick up your phone. Try making it so that you you can't pick up your phone until you've done your meditation and then you'll like, then you'll get it out of the way real quick in in, in theory, as long as you hold yourself to it. Um, okay, here's more. So I just want to make sure I got the, the dreams from everybody. Okay, so. <gasps> Yay, Jukebox. Oh, my God, I love it. Jukebox says I just signed up for BBD, uh, BBD Club. So excited. Yay, welcome. Um, so go in there and um, check out the um, Monetize Your Dreams is like the place to start that that takes you from like niching. So we have a, a whole niche conversation where you can really pick out exactly like what you want to talk about, what you want to do, what you want to sell. And then it goes through the whole process of like creating your business, setting it up and then selling to your audience. And then there's a ton of trainings in there again on selling, launching, um, your uh, um, structuring your offer suite, selling online, showing up online. We just did for this last game plan for, um, what is it, April? It was a um, like a self audit, like a next level self audit, so we can kind of break through all of the the energetic stuff that's in the way of you moving to the next level. So really good place for you. I'm so excited, and then I'll see you on the Q and A. So make sure you tell me who you are, because unless your um, unless your Zoom name is the same as your YouTube name, I won't know it's you. What's for dinner? Probably tofu. <laughs> My husband has perfected like making tofu really, really, really delicious. Um, and I have it, we have it like several times a week. So I, I'm sure like, as soon as I was like, is that what it is? I don't know. Oh, you didn't make anything? Make Shit. Uh. Can you make some tofu? <laughs> it's tofu. That's what it is. He's like, no, I haven't made shit. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yay. Shantae says this Mindset Monday has been so uplifting and fun. Thank you, Shantae. Ooh, Rosanna says, I love the scripting bundle and the mental diet workshop. Getting back to those. Thank you, Rosanna. And also, just because we're talking about it, the scripting bundle and mental diet um, are both actually bonuses for 360. So when you join 360, you automatically get scripting bundle, uh, mental diet. There's meditations and affirmations for every module. It is the whole manifesting shebang bang. It's the whole dang thing. Did I find a new house? Not yet, but I'm just, we're open. I'm not really like looking, um, but I am 
allowing. <sighs> Dina, what about your capable tunnel? <laughs> Oh my God, that is so funny and stupid. <laughs> Cinderella's treasure or twinkle. I like that. That's way better. Your twinkle tunnel? <laughs> your capable, twink capable twinkle? If you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, um, when we talk about like illnesses or injuries, I always, um, I, I, you know, I rewrite mine. I call it a different name. And so Dina was asking something how she can rename the tunnel that is in these things. I don't want to say it. Cinderella's treasure treasure is fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's what I was like, you're capable tunnels. You're so capable. Um okay, Kalani, hi babe. I'm just about to join or jump off. I know, Mallory. I know, I know, I know. That's why I was laughing. I'm like, this. I, I need to give some context to why I just said those words because if someone's just listening or they're not on the YouTube chat, they're going to be like, what the hell did she just say? <laughs> why is she saying those words? So, okay. So here's your homework tonight, today for this week. I want you to, I want you to write down, hold on, let me think, actually, let me ch channel this a little bit more clear. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm doing good. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, this is my, um, I'm going to give credit to where the idea is coming from. So the book existential kink, that's the book I'm reading right now. Definitely. It's an interesting book. Um, I highly suggest it, especially if you're somebody that's like dealing with shame or like duality of, of like this side of me and this side of me, the bad side, the good side. Or if you're somebody that's like stuck and you keep manifesting the same things over and over and over the same cycles. Um, <laughs> Rosanna, how about pretty cool, outrageous and sexy? <laughs> how about it's your pretty cools, your pretty cools. That's cute. I like it. My pretty cools. Um, we're renaming, uh, Ill I don't want to even say illnesses. We're renaming things over here. So the homework, and I'm again, I'm taking this a little bit from um, the book Existential Kink, which is, again, a very interesting book, good for um, incorporating the light and the dark. Rosanna, I'm going to just delete this. You don't need to take, let's not even affirm it here. What are you getting? Okay. Where are you going? Can you get soda too? Can you get some soda? Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, okay. So. Roseanne, and I only deleted it because I'm like, we don't even need to type that name ever again. You never need to say it again. It's your pretty cool, and that's it. <laughs> um, okay. Or if you whatever you think of something better. Okay, homework, homework, homework. This is your homework. What you're gonna do is I want you to remember the first thing we talked about, which was like, it's kind of like your bottom rung. It's kind of like your uh, this is the shitty stuff that I'm allowing to happen. It is the stuff that you don't really want to experience, the stuff that you're trying to manifest out. But in, if you're really truth and true and honest, it's what you're experiencing and what you keep having. You're going to write that stuff down, but I want you to write it like it's the best thing in the world. You're so excited. You love it. Oh my God. And then I can't make it past... $10,000 a month. It's so awesome. I'm so excited. People aren't watching my live streams. It feels so good. Like I want you to literally pump up all of those things that we're saying are the worst of the worst. Okay. The terrible stuff that you're experiencing. Let me actually scroll up through the fucking chat because this is how I want you to like, um, it's so exciting. I'm painting for money and not from my creative 
source energy. I just love, I love it. Um, I keep getting in my way when I'm manifesting. It's so awesome. So I want you to like go through these things that we said we don't like. That's a terrible thing. And I want you to make it the best thing in the fucking world. Um, let's see what else. Let's see. Let's see. I keep neglecting all of my responsibilities. It is amazing. I love it. Everything is just working out so many ways in so many different ways for me. Um, <laughs> what else? I care about money so much and I make it the most important thing and I still don't manifest it. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. So you're going to go through and write down all of the quote unquote stuff you don't like, but as if, and with the energy of like, it is the best thing. And did I fucking tell you yet that they haven't texted me back? Oh my God. Like no text for weeks. Can you believe that? Like give it, <laughs> you're, the goal is to give it excitement. I want you to see it as like hilarious as I'm seeing right now. Like it's making me laugh to just to do this, okay? Because we want to add some levity to it. We want to take away this like, if I don't have this thing, it's going to be the end of the world. Like, I don't have this thing and it sucks and I fucking love it. Oh my God, I've been trying to manifest this person for five years and it's not working. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Dina is also something funny in the chat. Treasure fingers. So good. So fucking beyond good. Did I tell you I have treasure fingers? <laughs> so you're going to take the quote unquote negative stuff and you're going to treat it like it's the best fucking thing in the world. I want you to script it. I want you to read it out loud. I want you to be, I want you to pump yourself up for it. Okay. And this energy now is going to lessen the block. Okay. It's going to remember earlier when, um, M was asking us about like the, like letting go of the need, this is what's going to let go of the need, right? Because right now the need is I have to have it or I'm going to fucking die. How about the need is <laughs> there's a fucking third party. Oh my God. Yeah. Someone else is sharing my man with me. Yes. Everything's working out in my favor. <laughs> Sorry. It keeps making me so laugh because it's so ridiculous, but that's the that's the energy, right? Like, let's take away this strength, this pain of this whole, this horrible thing and make it fucking hilarious. Make it amazing. Dina said, laugh my ass off. I'm crying because it's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Rosanna says, stop. I'm levitating. Okay. Thank you. Right. This is so good. This is so good. Okay. And then from there, from that, Get into this high vibe space of, oh my God, this is what's happening. And fuck yes, my life is so great because of it. And then just like work in your, 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 um, visualization, like work in the positive thing. And then, and now I'm doing this now. And then this is what I have. And now I'm doing this. So go from like absolutely utter joy and excitement from the thing that's not so good to like complete and utter elation to the next step that you're going to. Okay. I'm, I'm, I really like, I'm so excited to, to see what you do. So please leave your, your homework takeaways in the group so that we can see what happens from this. But this work, and again, I, um, I'm taking this from inspiration from uh, Existential Kink. I'm only about halfway through it, but um, I'm just kind of like creating my own exercise based on some of the ones I've done in the book. And so <laughs> Rosie, I, says, I can't laugh out loud at 2 a.m. My life is fucking, I can't even make the noise I want to make and it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> turn it into the best thing ever. Turn it into the best thing ever. And then of course, and then your other thing, of course, we're going to get the other thing that I want. Like, let's take away how we're putting so much pressure on, on ourselves to achieve this, this ideal and put all the energy of how great the ideal feels onto the stuff that we don't like. Let's switch the, not switch the dynamic. Cause I don't want you to make the other thing you want into a negative, but I want you to just, just, just to shine as much light and enjoyment and excitement and hilarity. And like, did you see what I manifested? Oh my God. Like celebrating the stuff that you absolutely hate. And then be like, and then obviously my family, my partner, we're doing this, we're going to travel because obviously all this stuff in my life is so good. Um, <laughs> Jukebox says, I do this so often during the day. I love traffic. I love bad drivers. I'm the same way too. Like I can definitely amp it up and I'm going to, but like I always tell people like whatever is negative going on in my life, I always say it's the positive thing. Even like my husband, we have a, 
thing. I'm like, oh my God, my head feels so good right now. Cause I don't even want to, you know, finish the sentence about how it really feels. Cause who cares about how it really feels? What matters is what I manifest next. Cause I would like to end this. So I love you guys so much. Community.roxytalks.com. Hi, Hadaz. I'm just about to jump off. Um, I invite you, if you're just now joining, head to my YouTube channel and watch the replay. Uh, we had a lot of fun today. We got to the bottom of some fun things. We had some good realizations actually came through about like what kind of things you're creating in your life versus on like the stuff that you're settling for. And um, for those of you that want more help with me, the best places to go for, um, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are a creator, an influencer, an artist, a writer, a musician, a coach, um, a business owner, bigbeautifuldreams.com. I'll put the little scanny doodle up in the corner. So if you're watching the replay, you can um, scan that and it'll take you straight to it. Big beautiful. Oh, no, no. Is that the right one? Yeah. Bigbeautifuldreams.com. This is where I help you um, work on your business, build your business, scale it, grow it, sell online, sell to your audience, connect with your audience, build an audience, all of those things. Um, what was the book? The book is called Existential Kink. I can't remember the name of the author, but it's a doctor and it's a woman, a woman doctor. And I can't remember her name. Christine. I think her name might be Christine. Um, and then, um, if you want to work on manifesting, if you want to become a manifestation master, if you want to work on your moods, you want to stop being triggered, you want to create new experiences in your love life, your money life, um, your personal life, your confidence, 360method.co is my full encompassing method for manifesting anything, for changing your life, for drastically up-leveling, for feeling that peace, joy, and happiness, and just actual overall satisfaction with your life, 360method.co. Oh, I didn't switch the thingy. I'll switch this real fast as I'm saying that. And then if you are working on your specific person, if you are changing um, the dynamics in your relationship, if you want to manifest a different version of your person, if you are dealing with um, third parties, if you're dealing with um, like cycles in relationships, you're manifesting the same type of person, um, you want to change what love relationships are for you, then my manifest your specific person workshop manifest, we call it the SPW, the specific person workshop is for you. This is all of my best love and manifesting a specific person content and training. Uh, it's not content. Yes, but it's a, a full in-depth course where you will be able to excavate all of the BS that has to do with your love life and, and all, um, you know, all the negative, painful, even mediocre stuff that you're experiencing in your relationships. Even if you have a great relationship, it'll make it help you make it better. Um, that is in the specific person workshop. And then you can scan that thing there. So those are the ways to work with me. Um, I also have a bunch of other classes and courses that I didn't mention, roxytalks.com. Whatever you're manifesting, we have something for it. Um, if you're, I know, let's see what the questions we had. If you're manifesting the opposite, or if you feel like you're getting tested, check out my past the test master training on my website, roxytalks.com. If you go to the menu that has like all the things, there's a couple that aren't on there, but for the most part they are. If, and if you hear me talking about something that you can't find, you can always DM me on Instagram or email us at hello at roxytalks.com. Um, if you're working on manifesting a specific person and you're trying to rewrite the story or like they said something or there's a past situation and you want to revise them or you want to manifest a different version of them, I have a smaller training called rewrite your specific person. That is just a very specific, like very like singular focused training where that is the whole focus is rewriting your person, how to do it. What do you do in the, in the, after time, after you've rewritten them and then they start acting which way they do, how you control all that. That's rewrite your specific person. Oh, we talked about letting go. So we have the letting go. Um, this is a full bundle of like letting go of the need for something and, and able to get it. It is kind of set in the vein of a specific person. So it does have the specific person, the rewrite your specific person thing that I was just talking about. It has a letting go training. It also has, I think pass the test is in there. Yeah, I think I put past the test in there too. All of these trainings I've been these smaller trainings I've just talked about, the master trainings are all inside of this letting go bundle and I think you save like $400 if you get the bundle versus like buying all these things separate. Hold on, I got to take screenshots. I appreciate you guys um talking about what you love about these courses. Leanne's uh Dina says pass the test is so good. Leanne said, yes, I go back to pass the test more than the others, it seems. Ooh, I love that. I love that. You said 
Dina says it's good to have that in your back pocket when things come up. Thank you. Okay. And then, yeah, pass the test is in that bundle. <laughs> Who said just said man Rainbow Reese says manifesting is easy. It is. Yes. Um, so if you're interested, so yeah, if letting go, getting tested, manifesting the opposite is, is something that you're dealing with, this letting go to get them bundle is like exactly what you need because it has the pass the test in it. It has rewrite your specific person. It has letting go, obviously the letting go, um, master training. What is the one I, uh, put yourself on the pedestal. I'm pretty sure is, is in there too. Is it yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Cause that's part of the, the, the process. Um, put yourself on the pedestal five trainings for the price of two. Oh, taking max of actions in there. Yeah. And that one's like, that one's three, three, three on its own. The bundle is three, three, three. So basically taking massive action. And if you buy the bundle, you get all the other things for free of the price of taking massive action. So it's a, it's a really good bundle. Cause I really, I reverse engineered the steps from manifesting my husband of like the moment I was just like, no, nah, I'm done letting go to them beyond it. And then, um, like getting over that hump past it and then who to be to maintain it. I basically just like reverse engineered it and then put all those trainings together into a bundle. And then that's what that is so that you can, um, just master all of those pieces because it has to do with like who you are beforehand, what you do in the interim, taking that like leap and then who you are after. So, um, that's what that is. And that's in the QR code in the corner. M says it's deciding and having confidence in myself above all else. Yes, yes, ma'am, it is. And I know you said you were reading the Bible. Like that's what, this is what Jesus has been telling us. It's the same thing. Put your your love and your attention into yourself and that is the answer. Shoof. Okay, it's time. <laughs> oh my goodness, we went for two hours today. That's insane. That's just like amazing and I love you so much for being here. Thanks for sticking around and having these conversations with us. Thanks for showing up every week because you're amazing and you're powerful and incredible and you deserve to live the best life ever. And in order to have that, you need to make an intentional effort at creating that kind of lifestyle for yourself. If it doesn't come natural, it doesn't come natural and that's fine. You can make it more natural, but you have to make yourself do that. <laughs> Hi, Nadine. Thank you for joining. I'm actually just about to jump, uh, jump off. But um, I invite you to check out the the replay on my YouTube channel. It's going to be under the Mindset Monday uh, playlist, and you can watch the whole live stream. Thank you, Shantae. I'm so glad you're loving it, and I appreciate you being here. Mallory says we're legit coming God, becoming gods and goddesses. We are. We already are. We already are gods and goddesses. That is what all of the scripture and the the rhetoric for, for all of time has been telling us. So it's not new information. We're just finding new ways of understanding it and invoking it, as someone said earlier. Well, M, hello. Welcome. I'm just about to jump off, but I invite you to start the the um, the replay, the live stream over again because we had a really good time today. We had talked about some really high-level concepts um, to help you really get a hold of like what's in the way so that you can just manifest what you want, right? That's really, I think, what we're all here to do is like get this bullshit out of the way so I can just have the thing that I want. Isn't that, is that too much to ask? Oh my God. But it's not too much to ask, but you need to you know how to ask the right way, right? So Remember again, if you're questioning, same, same. Is the sentence I'm thinking or saying a match? Same, same to the reality I want to live. Meaning if I say he's not texting me, that is not same, same to he is texting me. Those two things, which one of these things is not like the other? Neither of them, right? They do not match up. Hi, hi, Gis, Gis Lorea. Guess so, guess Loera. I, it's hard for me sometimes to read um, the Instagram names because I can't tell which well, there's no um, like capitalization. So I'm not sure what it is, but hello and welcome. I'm just about to jump off, but I would love to see you and have you um, join us for the, the replay on YouTube. If you head to my YouTube channel in the Mindset Monday playlist, there will be a re replay of today's live stream, which is amazing. So go check it out. Go listen back to it and um, just allow yourself to start thinking better. Remember, your sentences are matchy matchy to the ideal to the reality you're going to be in. Whatever sentences, whatever sentence you are thinking and saying, is the reality that you'll be living soon, at all times, forever, never again. Will that never not be your truth as long as you're a human being? 
the link to rewrite. Let me grab that real fast. Um, Allie, so what I'm going to do is I'll type it in the chat and then you can screen cap it. I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know, not every phone. Sometimes the phones will like pick up the text for you. And then um, if not, it's on my, um, one of those things called story highlights on my Instagram page. You can grab it there. Hi, Malachi. I'm just about to jump off. <laughs> Hi. Okay. All right. I have to, I have to go because it's been, it's been, it's been one week. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking this time out for yourself and for being such amazing, such an amazing human to yourself. The fact that you're here means you care a lot about yourself and you're willing to do whatever it takes to be happy and you deserve it and you should be. So let's take the extra step then and do the thingies. Do the thingies. And if you want my help, 360method.co. That is where we're doing 360 method. Oh, 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 I forgot to announce. I just dropped. So 360 method has officially changed a little bit. Normally for the in the past, 360 method was only available at certain times a year when we would open up for the live round, it was $2,000 for the program. And then there was live coaching. It is now because I'm changing up my business open all the time. You can enroll at any moment. You can enroll right now, 360method.co. And it is now half the price of the live version. So it's 1111. Um, you can begin right away. You only get one less than a week though, until the whole eight weeks are, are out because it's very important that you work on it one week at a time but you'll get immediate access to week one. Actually, I think because of the way it's structured right now, you might get immediate access to like the first four weeks. I could be wrong. Um, because we're doing it live. So I'm not exactly sure how the system with the live and then the other thing coincide. Either way, um, 360method.co, you can now join at any time. It's 1111 now. It's not 2000. And then there is a $99 a month payment plan. So if the price point has been an issue for you, I got you 99 bucks a month. You can start it right now. You'll get immediately scripting bundles in there. Uh, mental diet is in there. I feel like there's one other thing. I don't want to say anything because I, if I might be wrong, but mental diets in there, scripting bundles in there, meditations, affirmations, the whole 360 method, obviously. And then there's a community as well. Um, and actually I did a, um, a special, so anybody, the, like the next four people that join will get to join our coaching call this week. So there's some fun stuff going on career focus programs. Yes. Yeah, Sarah Bell. So, um, monetize your dreams. You know what? Also, we just created, we haven't like officially put it out yet, but we just created, um, basically an entrepreneur slash business bundle. I don't even have a name for it yet where all of my career trainings are into in one place. So, um, that is going to be, I'm not sure. I think the price point I put on that is 11, 11 as well. There will be a payment plan for that. Um, if you want to email us, Sarah, um, we have it ready. It's just like, not like out, out, but it's still available. Um, otherwise I have multiple different career oriented programs that are all separate. This thing just gives it to you all the same. Cause I think they're 2,400 for everything. If you were to buy all of my career stuff separate, it'd be 2,400, but that bundle is going to be, I think around, I think a thousand is what I put out, like 1111. Um, but I will tell you right now, Sarah, career focus programs, monetize your dreams, the deluxe version that's on my website. Um, it's bigger and beyond the one that's in, uh, big, beautiful dreams club. It has more to it. Uh, star power is so monetize your dreams is like basically step-by-step step going from idea all the way to income, essentially, like getting the idea, building it out, growing the audience, selling to them, then scaling. If you do the, the deluxe version, it's on my website. There, there's that it's scaling and beyond. There's more to it. Um, Star Power is a program that is all about like the energetics of being a star, essentially being the Beyonce, the Taylor, the Oprah, being the person that's out front and center. It is all of the like identity work, the mindset shifts, the up leveling that needs to go on internally for you to not just manifest that lifestyle, but to actually hold it and be that person and be seen as like the star to your people. Um, so that's star power. Social media superstar 
kind of self-explanatory is my social media program where I teach you the exact process that I've used to grow all of my accounts on all the social media platforms. Um, there is, um, content about building your audience, growing your audience, um, growing an online presence. There are frameworks in there. So like, um, ways of like, so, uh, scheduling your social media, um, like caption, um, caption formulas, things like that. Um, social media planners. So that one's obviously all about social media. And then I have some smaller trainings like the 20K Months Masterclass where I give you like an eight-step framework for bringing in 20K months on repeat in your business. There's um, Sweet Offer Suite Masterclass where we talk about the all the different types of offers that you can build inside of your business. And then um, I'm trying to think if that one has the selling program in it. Then I have one that's strictly about selling on social. That's an audio training. And I have multiple audio trainings at all. Also, and then all of this stuff is on roxytalks.com as well. And then if you have any other questions, of course, we can answer them for you. Whew. Does anybody else have any other questions about a program that I can answer for you? Jukebox says these lives really get my head in the right space to make things happen. Yes. And that's the whole point, getting into the vibe so that... You can just manifest the reality you want. I fully believe anything you want is possible. Nothing you want is like out of the range of I'm nothing you could say is gonna shock me that you desire. It's more so just like, are you aligned to getting it or are you aligned to continue blocking it essentially? You know? So there's always like strategy work that needs to be done, and there's always mindset work. So there's the the action and then there's like the energetics of it. Mallory right now says go eat. Unfortunately, my tofu is not ready yet, <laughs> but I can go mill about the kitchen. I can go make it go faster by standing in the kitchen and watching it. That's how you make food cook faster is you stare at it and say, it's cooking so fast. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I just wanted to ask any questions about any other products if you wanted to, or questions about programs, courses, trainings, Anything that you're looking to manifest, if you have a question about that, I can answer it real fast. You can also DM me on Instagram. Um, like, let me know what you're manifesting and what your goals are with it. And then I can point you in the right direction of the, the program or the training or whatever it is that will help you. If you're just now joining, I please invite you. I would love for you to head over to my YouTube channel if you're not there already and start the live over and watch the live stream from the beginning because we did some like really fucking deep and powerful work today and I'm really excited and I love you for being here. Um, join me next week. I go live every Monday on YouTube and Instagram. Um, the time is fluid. It's whenever I go live. But um, if, you're, if you're watching out for it, it's generally between the hours of like noon and 5 p.m. PST. <laughs> I'm trying to go earlier a little bit. Um, but it, you know, it just sometimes things happen. So I love you all so much. I appreciate you. If you're just not joining, head to YouTube and grab, um, start the replay over in the mindset Monday playlist. Um, if you have any questions about specific programs, I can help you DM, uh, DM me Roxy talk, DM me on Instagram, or you can email us hello at roxytalks.com 360method.co. If you want to do my manifesting, um, my signature manifesting method, Big Beautiful Dreams Club, bigbeautifuldreams.com. If you would like my help with your business and growing your online audience, your revenue streams, and all the money associated with following your dreams. I love you all so much. We are jumping off. If you're just now joining, please head to the YouTube channel and um, rewatch the live stream in the Mindset Monday playlist. I love you all so much. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. I'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody.